the splendor of Indian forts is well known. Forts in Andhra Pradesh have great historical significance. Golconda is well known. So are the forts of Kakatiya, Kondaviru and Kondapalli. Emperor Shri Krishna Deva Raya and his empire is well known in the annals of Indian history. Most of us may not know the fort that he used was one that protected him from being captured for 18 months. Are there any other mountains similar to Tirumala in Andhra Pradesh? Are there any hill stations in Andhra Pradesh which can be a tourist attraction? The story of Ramayana mentions about Sanjeevani Parvata. But have you ever heard about a hill located in Andhra Pradesh believed by the people to be a Sanjeevani Parvata? You will find all the answers at Udaygiri Fort. Udaygiri has several unique important features to be considered a potentially great tourist place. Udaygiri is a symbol of natural beauty, lush green vegetation and amazing waterfalls. The name Uday Giri is derived from Uday, meaning morning, Giri, meaning hill. Every morning the first sun rays touch the hill. It is a towering peak reaching a height of 994 meters, that is 3,261 feet. This beautiful hill is a source of natural drinking water to villages all through the year. The source of water unknown. Udaygiri town is located in the district of Nellore, state of Andhra Pradesh, India. Despite being located in coastal Andhra Pradesh, all the traditions and slang is Raila Seema. This town is also known as Nawabi Adda, as this was ruled by the Nawabs, having a dense Muslim population. People predominantly speak Telugu, and Muslims speak Urdu and Telugu. People wear traditional South Indian dresses. Udaygiri is of mythological importance too. Sanjeevani, the life-saving divine herb, referred in Hindu Puranas, is said to be in this hill. There are sayings that till this day, no one died on this mountain by accident or snake bites or any wild animal attack. Sanjeevani has the power to save the life and no death for those who use this. Lord Hanuman, the monkey god, carried the hill from the Himalayas to Lanka for this rare herb, Sanjeevani, to cure Lakshman during the Ram Ravan battle. Locals believe that in transit, fraction of the hill was broken down and fell down from a great height and the hill landed upside down. Until this day, one can find many boulders strewn around the hill. The ruins of ancient Hanuman temples are still found within the hill. In 1918, a scientist, Dr. Koman, has announced that after a survey, as many as 150 Ayurvedic herbs are available in this hill. Mm -hmm. 
Udaygiri and Fort has immense historical importance in the history of South India. The Satavahanas, Cholas, Pallavas, Golconda, and Vijayanagara kings ruled the region from the 6th century. The fort had been conquered by the Cholas, the Pallavas, the Gajapatis, and the Vijayanagaran rulers subsequently. Based on the research and the sasanas found in various locations and occasions, the history of Udaygiri from the 10th century is as mentioned here. The fort was strengthened when Udaygiri was the capital of local kingdom of Langula Gajapati, who was the chieftain to Gajapatis of Orissa. The fort was strategically carved as it is inaccessible on most sides. It could be approached only by a jungle track in the east side and a pathway on the west side. A walk within the walls of this fort gives us a sneak preview of the historic times and the bygone days. The fort complex consists of 13 fortresses. In AD 1512, the third ruler of the Tuluva dynasty, emperor of the Vijayanagara Empire, who reigned from 1509 to 1529, Krishna Raya, considering the nearness of Udaygiri to his capital, decided to attack it first, while he was expanding his regime. Krishna Raya laid siege with his army consisting of 34,000 foot soldiers, 800 elephants and 4,000 horses while there were only 10,000 foot soldiers and 400 horses in Udaygiri fort. But the frontier fort was strongly defended and commanded by Tirumala Raya, a parent uncle of Pratapa Rudra Deva Gajapati. The best generals and advanced party of Raya's army, with all the resources and technique, failed to seize the fort. Because of the stubborn resistance afforded by the Urissa garrison in the fort, the fighting near the outer wall between the Uriya soldiers and Krishnadeva Raya soldiers continued ceaselessly for 18 months. There was a vigorous fight. In the end, the Vijayanagar soldiers were driven back. As his generals failed to seize the fort, the warrior king, Krishna Deva Raya, himself took the lead and directed his soldiers to carve out paths across the rocky hills, breaking many great boulders standing on the path. There were also local sayings that the Raya's army had nurtured Udumus, meaning monitor lizards, and used to scale the impregnable fort with a rope tied around its waist for climbing up the steep vertical rock face. The Udumu would grab on a crack or cleft and the soldier used to climb on the rope. The Udumu grip is considered to be that strong. Finally, the fort was captured only by starvation by not allowing the food to reach inside the fort. Krishna Deva Raya captured the fort of Udaygiri on the 9th of June, 1514. On account of its immense importance, the capturing of Udaygiri fort receives a mention by Allah Sani Peddana, 
who was one of the Raya's Ashta Diggajas in his Manu Charitra. Shri Krishna Deva Raya Li Vijayamalanu Telipuchu Shri Krishna Deva Raya Li Asthana Muloni Ashta Diggaja Kaulalu Allasani Paddaragaru Manu Charitra Lo Yee Vithamu Gavar Ninchi Onnaru Tolu Daltanu Daya Drisila Daakiti Indrincha Nusiloha Mella Vetsanai Jeninchi Nandi Timmana has also mentioned about Udaygiri Fort in his Parijata Paharanam. Devi Dhamuga, Parijata Paharanam lo Nandi Timmana garu Udaygiri Durga Manu Gurinchi Durga Vijayamala Manu Gurinchi Devi Dhamuga Chepyan Nadu. Udayadrive Gayachyuthati Saathinche Vinu Konda Mata Matra Muna Jayinche. Mr. Fernando Nunes who was a Portuguese historian, has also mentioned about the Udaygiri War, which lasted for about 18 months. In the empire of Raya, the Udaygiri reign was spread from the Penna River to the Krishna River. Locals say that in the era of Raya, people used to sell gems stocked in heaps. During the rule of the Gajapatis and the Vijayanagar rulers, this town grew to great splendor. The ruins of 365 temples, konerus, found in the town, reflected the sculpture and architecture of various periods. The Cholas built the Ranganatha temple, the temple of Lord Vishnu. The structure and architecture of the temple reflects the Chola culture. Pallavas built Balakrishna Temple, the Temple of Lord Krishna, and the Mandiram reflects the Pallavas' architecture and culture. Sorry, the Avalai mo Balakrishna Temple sorry. The Krishna Devaraya lo pada padhihe nandra padamu lo yi quarter na vasin jaise kuna taravata. Gajapatir Kumar chuno chinnna devuni muda vyaham jaise kuna sare kada. Vakavai po Mahamadeel danda yatralo dhrutu vastu nai sir. Andu cheta valdi mainu ko samrajya mo hampi sir. Ikan unde gram macam lo gramu, walau dadal ko ibu nu kalu ko dana udah sempat, china dah tis kono boleh kerana hampir lo ka petaram jalan sah. Akan nanti ko dulu dulu terawas sah, ah gram macam lo gram tis kono boleh pulau prestudum sah, Madras Museum lo nih. The Kalyan Mandapam belongs to the Vijayanagar era, and the Mandapam reflects Vijayanagar culture. Kalyani mana pemjap ter sah. Ini Kalyani mana pemlo, setiap kali bawah halo zarge sahre bodo. Ini dewi ne bawah mudah, kerana elsa bawah mudah ikannya zarge sah. Akarni cie rasulu, mantulu, pradhanlu, lantarura, ienu gulu gural thoti, kerana elsa me alai mula nanti dewi ne diskonu cie ikara Kalyani zarge pemar sah. Ini katit cinde timara elgar. Adi udah giri cahala wih bogan ga zarge time lo, atane suci words kolaga. Sri Krishna Dewa Raya itu, udah kerja macam dandet tu, je si, pasal ni dalam modal tu, lebih je si, walaupun wording cari sah, wording si, kerja pati raya lagi, ama ini cendana dewi anetment, ama ini ide yang ala, amlo ide kalian mana pun amlo, itu ham jas kunar sah, ane jepe mah pedal gula cahala cahala mandi jepe orang lu, engkau lokal kerja kalian orang gula ikatnya zargi rendah sah. Remains of several other ancient temples remarkable for their architecture, such as the Bala Vinayaka Temple and Ballabaraya Temple, are found. Very old Lord Shiva temples are also situated in the dazzling hills of the region, such as Siddheshwaram which was built in AD 1326. And the Bhairavakona temple, located in this region, 
is said to be constructed in the 7th century AD during the period of the Pallavas. This may be perhaps the only one temple in India where Brahma, Vishnu, Maheshwara are worshipped together in one place. Another interesting feature of this was all the temples over there were carved out from one single rock and Lord Shiva here appears in eight different forms. The 300 years old temple of Sri Vengamamba Perantalu is situated in this region at the village Narrabada. This is famous because of a wish satisfier goddess in the surrounding areas. This event conducted during the festival Thirunandu is very famous. After the fall of Vijayanagara Empire, the fort was occupied by Muslim rulers of chieftains of Golconda rulers, Amin Mulk, Said Muzaffar, and their successors who made the fort their dwelling for about 200 years. 